Hey, I'm Brendan with Reviewed.com and I have a confession to make. I love the Mac, but I don't love Apple's MacBooks right now. There are a lot of things missing from the 2016 MacBook Pros and it's never been harder to buy a Mac that has exactly what you want in it. Mac fanboys like me, people who depend on the Mac, are starting to look at Windows PCs as a replacement. And so today we're gonna to talk about some of the best PC laptops you can pick to replace your MacBook Pro. So if you're shopping for one of the new MacBook Pros that came out this year, Apple introduced three new models. Two of them are 13 inch, one of them's 15 inch. So the cheapest new MacBook Pro, uh, which is much more like the old MacBook Air really, if you get down to it, is a lot like this uh, Razer Blade Stealth or the HP Spectre X360. Both offer a dual core Intel i7, uh, plenty of RAM and uh, speedy SSDs. The main difference between the HP Spectre and this Razer is that this Razer is more like a traditional laptop and the HP Spectre has a 360 degree hinge that lets you fold the screen all the way around and use it kind of like a tablet, which is nice. If you're looking at the kind of middle of the road MacBook Pro 13 with the touch bar, I definitely recommend that you take a look at Dell's XPS 13 Ultrabooks. Um, they've done a superb job the last couple of years improving their products, they're excellent. Uh, this model actually won our Best of Year Award. Two years running now, it's a great laptop. Uh, you get this bezel-free screen, that's pretty nifty, and a great trackpad, good keyboard, and all the ports that you would want, not just the, those tiny new USB-C ports that you need to adapt to plug into everything else. I'd also recommend the Microsoft Surface Book if you're looking at the 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro touch bar. Instead of a small touch bar on the keyboard, you actually get a full touch screen. The screen detaches to become a tablet. Uh, it comes with a pen, like I could go on and on. This it has a lot of features that the Mac doesn't have. The only problem is, if you were hoping to save money going on a Windows PC versus a Mac, the surfaces are all pretty expensive and they compare pretty directly to what you'd be spending on a Mac. Now, if you need a really powerful processor and a big screen, um, the 15-inch MacBook Pro might look pretty good, but I'd also recommend you check out computers like the new Razer Blade. This laptop has a very powerful NVIDIA 1070 GPU in it. It has a very similar quad-core processor as to what you'd find in the Mac and you can spend a lot less money on it too. They started around $1,800 versus around 2,400 bucks for the Mac. Um, I'd also recommend checking out the Dell XPS 15. It's kind of like the big brother or big sister to the Dell XPS 13. Like the MacBook, it has a quad-core Intel chip. It also has a, a discrete GPU, so it's pretty quick for graphics performance. On top of that, it addresses an issue that the MacBook Pro has come under fire for in that they capped it at 16 gigabytes of RAM, um, and Windows laptops, especially ones like the XPS 15, you can actually upgrade the RAM in, and if you want to just go ahead and order it from Dell with 32 gigabytes of RAM, you can do that, which is great. Again, the Mac, you're kind of stuck with what you have uh, when you buy it. The RAM, the SSD, everything inside the computer is completely soldered on. You can't really upgrade it later.